Hey guys, so I am back. You know what? I should have gotten another baby. I should have actually got Noah for this video, but it's okay. We'll, we'll sit here and enjoy my Nigel pool. Did I give you a bottle already? I did, didn't I, in the last video? Oh, well. So, um, what I was going to say is with customs, Okay, so I'm not used to taking custom orders, but I've used to do get customs all the time in the past as a collector. I would all I would always go for customs. Um, I never really been pushy about you know time frames and stuff like that. I mean, I want a time frame, an idea, you know, or whatever up front. But typically, I just let the artist do their thing and then I just go for it because. I realized that if they work on their own time, they work and they get the doll done, they do it nice, nicer. So I didn't never really push. But here's the thing. So I realized that a lot of artists make it seem like it takes forever to complete one doll. But the truth of the matter is, is that art, most artists are not full time. They have other jobs or they have children, husbands. All that great stuff that come into play that takes time to of their life. Like they don't, they're not machines that's just sitting there running 24-7 trying to make a doll for you. So they have to consider that time in, in it. Not only that, there are artists that does customs, like mainly customs. So if I got six babies to work on, I might do all the skin tones on on all the babies then I go back and I do the modeling and then I do this well going down that line takes time so when they get back to yours and then back to yours and then back to yours it would take longer than me just sitting constantly painting one baby at a time like if I paint a baby for me sometime a reborn I may finish it in a week or two weeks if I can sit and just do it all day um but if I'm working on, you know, two dolls at a time or three dolls at a time, it may take me weeks. Hell, it may take me t six weeks, you know, almost two months. But that's because we're actually doing, um, I'm actually doing multiple dolls. So that's why when some people stick, give you time frames like, oh, it'll be six to eight weeks or whatever, you know, it's because they have more than just your baby that they're going to be working on. And a lot of times, you guys, um, things, you know, things come up. You don't know. Something might go wrong. They got to try to fix that. You know, you just, you know, you just don't know. So, um, customs are very challenging. Um, I haven't went over and... I saw where one YouTuber had made a title about customs, but I, I haven't w went and looked at it, but I'm going to go and look, go back and look at it um, and listen to what he, he had to say about the customs. But I always find it interesting to hear the artists talk about their experiences and stuff like that because I'm just getting into it a little bit and I'm not taking like customs full time. Like I'm, I'm doing a few right now and then I'm going to stop for a while. Just because I don't want to get burnt out and I don't want to be like at the point where, you know, it's just, um, I'm just constantly working for people. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to enjoy my hobby and paint, you know, how I want. And I actually, when I do take certain customs, I'm very specific anyway. So I do enjoy the customs that I do take because it's kits that I enjoy don't mind working on and stuff like that so anyway my point is is that just understand that when people give you longer time frames or you you think well dog it shouldn't take that long to paint that baby or she painted such and such way quicker Ugh, I hate when I do that I got silicone up under my nails and you know when when you see that kind of stuff um just just know that it's probably because they have more than your doll there and or they're working on other projects and stuff and god forbid if they get a prototype offer your doll going to the back burner because they got to get the prototype out by a certain time so i've seen that happen to people too so 
yeah so i kind of like the buy it now to be honest but for me like especially with silicone i i was gonna try to do that at one point but the kit's just too expensive for me to be talking about something oh let me buy this and see hope that it sell nope that's gonna be a no <laughs> so um but i don't know and i don't want to really do custom silicone painting to be truthful i really just want to stick to the the reborns but I really enjoy painting preemies. I do. I, I won't lie. I, I'm a little bit more tempted to paint a preemie for somebody than I would any other doll. And I, it's not that, I mean, I enjoy the outcome when I paint the bigger babies, the bigger kits and the full size kits. But I don't know. I just feel like I'm in my element when I paint the, the preemies. They're easier to handle, I guess. And I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I, I seem to enjoy the preemies. I know. So, and that, I don't even think that has anything to do with the fact that I'm a preemie grandma. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the custom wait times now are too too long? I know that I've, heard, I've even heard people saying their wait times is like six weeks. And then, oh, the other thing that with customs too you have to be clear about an ask is like does when they say six to eight weeks does that mean six to eight weeks from when they start on your doll or six to eight weeks from when they get your doll the kit because um some people when they say six to eight weeks they mean when they start on your doll so say they have three customs ahead of you and they're like oh i have three customs ahead of you i can start somewhere like mid-september well your six to eight weeks did not start honey in july when you gave them that kit because i've seen people come online and be like it's been such and such, such but then the artist told you they wouldn't start to like mid september or mid august or whatever so really your time started from there but, you know, if you're a particular and you want a doll by a certain time, you need to be specific in your questions so that you'll be on the same page and that way you don't have to have all these big blowouts and fallouts in the public. Um, so, I try to communicate with people as I'm working on their, um, their dolls. As a matter of fact, I need to give another update to one of the mommies of where I'm at with her baby. But... Sometimes we get lost too. If it's really like nothing have changed, like we hadn't hit a color yet or something like that, you kind of don't really have much to report. But I still kind of like let them know I'm, you know, I'm still working on your baby or I'm working on your baby today or blah, blah, blah. And I've not done a lot of customs and I don't, and so my schedule is not as complex. But I can see now where it's kind of picking up to where I can't be as hands on. And the more you have going on, the less hands-on you can be because it's like this. Do you rather the, the artist sit there and text you all day or you want her hands on them paintbrushes and sponges? Let me know. I forgot y'all can't see my facial expression because, honey, I had, a fierce, I had a real fierce one right then for y'all, honey. Y'all missed that sus. Sus. <laughs> But for real, like, do you, I mean, you know, I, I, I can't be online all day talking to me. I like, I could pop a quote out. I could pop, pop a funny picture out. I could pop pictures out all day in between painting, but I can't sit there and go back and forth in the chat with you all day because I got to get the dog done. So that's kind of, and I kind of get that with, you know, you know, with artists you know, some people are like, oh, she's short with me. She's at, well, she's working. Okay, bosses. You know, like, you know, I had one artist person, you know, we, we, we had became friends over the years and, um, we would talk on the phone and we would be talking while she would be painting on my dogs. And that was different. Uh, we talked for a long time and they'd be painting on my dogs. Um, but texting no because sometimes we would start out texting and then she would pick up the phone and call me because it's i guess she's like hey i can't be doing this i need my hands on what i'm doing so so yeah but anyway 
So it, it is what it is. If you desperately need a custom, you got to be patient for it because anything comes up during the custom and stuff like that. Buy it now is my all time favorite, but I understand sometimes you can't get exactly what you want. Um, or the artist never paint the kit. Oh my God, I've been there. There's this artist, um, dang, what is her name? Stacy something. But anyway, you know, I don't do, um, endorsements and shout outs no more. I'm being petty. Um, but <laughs> unless I got your doll in my collection, I, I can't help you, sis. But anyway, for real, this one artist, man, I wanted her work so bad. Well, two of them I have. And... But she would always paint these kids that I absolutely hated. And it would be like, dang. And sometimes she'll do the best paint job on them too. And I'd be like, oh my gosh. And I'd be so tempted to just buy for the actual, like, the paint work. But I've done that before and then end up, like, resenting the fact that it wasn't the kit that I like. And I sold the kit. I mean, the doll. Um, but you know so that that in that case it's kind of like doing a private order like i don't care like i you got free range but can you paint this kit for me i just want to lock it down that i'm going to get this kit you paint this kit for me and we you know that thing that type of thing i understand the one of them i never did get a baby from um the other one i got one but it was the wrong um scope but yeah because sometimes you see these and you be like, sis, why you keep painting this sculptor kids? I hate this sculptor kids. You know? And it, it's just funny. Like, it's so crazy. And so I, I get in those cases. But some people want to be specific. And I'm not saying because, like I said, I'm not on a master artist level. So these it's some artists out here that's a real beast. If you tell them you want... Uh, shaka laka bum jing boom don tongue shwanka balanga paint job on your baby. They gonna give you a shaka laka boom kwanka swoon bong shung bong bling paint job. You gonna get exactly what you said because they that skill that they can do that. You can show them a picture and it looked like they just duplicated the picture on the doll. You maybe they may be able to do that, but for me, I can't do that. So you you talking about you want caramel and then y'all know y'all be funny. I want a caramel mocha latte. And then the baby be like a caramel mocha, not the latte. And you be like, I don't like it. She ain't do what I asked her to do. I said I want a mo caramel mocha latte. She just gave me a caramel mocha. Because you know y'all going to exaggerate and make it worse than what it was. I told her I ain't want my nails glossed. She glossed the nails. I'm sick of this. I don't want it. No, see, sis. This is when you get your refund. And don't worry about the doll. I'm going to sell it to somebody that don't mind having a, cho a caramel mocha. Get your chocolate somewhere else. You know, it's like... So, it's, it's, it can be very challenging. And so... I don't know. That's why, I, you know, you can't do customs with everybody. Some people you can see in the forums. Girl, if every doll you get, you in the forums talking about, look at, look at, look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh-uh. 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 I did. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh, this, this is, this was all right, but <laughs> I just wish <laughs> and, and, and every, and then you in the forums, this artist did this. I want this. They, I feel like she should have charged me less. I did it. If every time I see you, you complaining, you kind of be talking about some sis, can you do me a cuss? Uh-huh. Or what? I don't even think we, at this point, we can't be sis. Let's a cousin. Cousin. Cousin, I can't do it for you, cousin. Cousin. Because you ain't, we can't even be sis at this point. Because I'm like, I'm scared of you. And that's that's what people don't understand. Like, you know, I've had problems with some artists, and usually if they do something and it come out not exactly like I thought, I get it. If I like it when I get it home, I keep it. If I don't, I sell it. I don't usually fuss like that about stuff, but if it's something technical, you know, if it's, if it's you know, um, a defect, 
or something like that, then I'll go to the artist and I'll talk to the artist and give them the opportunity to fix it. I'm not going to run to y'all because y'all ain't going to fix my problems. And y'all definitely not going to buy me a new doll, sis. So when I see that, it's like these people just want attention and fame off of negativity. And that's not good. So, yeah. So that's that's another thing. You know, if you you realize that people don't want to to, you know sell dolls to you or interact with you is maybe because you know you are always having negative feedback for every artist that you buy from every transaction you have is bad then why i want to be the next one to be bad on your list i'll pass <laughs> so some collectors may not like this video you know some might understand it artists I'm sure some artists will get, will have it, had these experiences and stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm just looking at my little Evie over there. Lord, her little hair just need to be fixed. But she's so cute. I really love her skin tone. I really need to finish rooting that baby. My um, my mom came yesterday and um, she was looking at the babies. Oh my God, of course she went crazy over Ada. My mom loved her some chocolate babies, like real life. She loved her some real dark babies. I think that's why she kind of liked me just a little bit because I ain't dark enough. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But, um, I'm kind of serious. But she, <laughs> my, um, my sister was very dark skinned. They're very dark skinned. Like Ada. And, um, so my mom, like, went crazy over Ada. And then she was, like, tripping out, going crazy over Phoebe. She was like, Phoebe looks so real. And so that made me feel good because she was like, oh, that baby looked too real. And I was like, and I noticed she was pointing at Phoebe. I was like, you go, girl. Because my mama just, my mama is like, her tongue is raw. Like she, she'll be like, ooh, what's up with that one? You know, or she just won't say nothing at all. If now that she know that I paint and she don't, want to hurt my feelings she just won't say nothing else she's just like scan past that one so yeah but anyway that's that um thanks for watching i hope to be able to share more with you guys later um as soon as i finish up uh the next baby that's available i will try to get a video and some pictures up follow me on instagram if you're not because i will definitely post pictures there oh my god i love his hair um Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.